So, uh, in our last session, the party had uh, stopped in the small town of Wellspring. While you were in town, uh, the, the town had you deal with a, or asked you to investigate a small issue. Uh, they had been attacked by goblins, a rather s- curiously small party of goblins. Um, the town guard had gone after them, and they have not been heard from since. None of you were particularly surprised uh, that they failed to complete their mission, given how poorly they did on the whole stop small numbers of goblins from murdering people. And you went out in search of that. Uh, trying to, to follow them back where they came from, you came across a uh, mysterious uh, female form in a tree who appeared to have under her control a number of the town guard. Uh, they attacked you, and uh, at various points in the fight, some of you even felt the influence of whatever this creature was, um, seeming to convey a message con- uh, compelling you to protect her leading to some very funny things if you were the DM. Uh, less funny things if you were at the receiving end of Scat's great axe. Um, you defeated her, and uh, on a lucky guess, um, traveled rather north uh, before picking up the faint trail that might have been where these goblins came from. Um, you stopped at a small uh, pond, and... Uh, Scats went for a swim and ended up getting eaten by a giant frog. Oh, that was fun. I remember that. And then Lyle got eaten by a giant frog. Twice. Twice. <laughs> and then... Uh, but eventually you, you, you persevered and defeated them. Um, you also picked up... You, you do believe that the, this trail leads... Uh, you, you're not actually even sure what you're tracking. It's just that there's something that you're tracking. And at least they have small feet, so it could be the goblins... And um, maybe you can get this mission over with because, having taken a long rest, it will actually be later today that Sorelia is going to want to set out. And while she probably wouldn't leave without you, you know, she'll leave a bad Yelp review if you um, make the caravan late. If this is what leaves the bad Yelp review, I don't want to know. Because we've done so much worse in front of her. Um, okay, next morning, you are well rested. And, um... While I think I know what you're doing, what are you doing? Following the trail? Mm-hmm. Any business Probably. anyone needs to take care of before, uh... Before I they head out? Take care of business. Okay. The only business to take care of is taking care of business. Uh, since we are still in the middle of nowhere, I'm going to go ahead and, uh... uh Pro- uh, prophylactically uh, cast uh, uh, Mage Armor. Alright. Just wrong. Yeah, just wrong, and you'll want to get 10 feet away. <laughs> Already there. Okay, so, uh, no, who, who's in the lead? I'll be in the lead. I'm big and scary. Oh. Well, you're small and scary. Well, I'm scary. Yeah, that's all that really matters. Are we um, broadcasting? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Scats, can you give me a, um, survival roll? I can indeed. That's not a bad survival roll at all. Um, okay. Fifteen, that is more than enough. You are able to pick up these, these faint, uh, tracks. And, uh, let me, let me copy your characters. You're gonna basically get right to the next spot, Um, you eventually, uh, you you travel for a little ways, and while you're traveling, um, you come across a small stream, and you, the, um, where you pick it up, it it almost seems like the stream disappears, and you realize it's simply going underground, there must, the, the the small stream must continue as like an underground um, river, but it also, it looks like the the river has contracted significantly. There's a lot of muddy um, riverbank around it, as if it was uh, used to be many times the size. Uh, something is so either either it's a dry season and this is the natural state of it, or but it looks like it happened very recently. Well, damn. 
Well done. So there's going to be more prints and shit in the area. It, it does indeed become a little easier to uh, to track um, at this point. You you do also realize at this point that these are definitely not... Um, you don't, you're not sure what they are. Uh, they're definitely not goblin tracks. And uh, eventually you seem you think you figured out where where the uh, the source of this low flowing river is. Um, when you come across this, floated a leaf on it and watched which way it went, and then went the other way. Well, those are great tokens. That's yeah, I know. I could not. Shit right there. I could not. Holy log. They have such lame names, but hey, yeah, it gets better. Well, it, Kyle. Uh, so yes, and and you have indeed actually um, snuck up on them. They don't know you're here. Uh, what you appear to have come across is indeed the construction of a dam. Um, there are a number of these very large frog-inspired kind of looking things. Um, a number of them are standing guard. Down by the actual water, uh, obviously they're not armed as depicted in the the drawing here, but uh, there are two goblins and there are two humans, and they're all being made to work on this dam. So what you're saying is no one appears to be in charge right here. So um, we're actually going to have to rescue goblins? Plot twist. No, no, we still kill them. That is up to you. Goblins were made for killing. You used to have a paladin with you that uh, was a big proponent of that. Like river people. Less of a proponent of that. What? It's not my fault they're inferior. I would point out, you know, you actually have a lot in common with goblins, like alignment. <laughs> <laughs> and size. Just don't you sass me. Just saying. Uh, yes. So the 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 humans who are dressed like the town guard you murdered previously, and the goblins who are dressed like the goblins you murdered previously, um, are actually working on the dam. There are a number of these frog folk kind of people um, keeping guard, making sure they they keep working. There's also a handful over by a small camp. So what you're saying is the bullywugs are in charge. Oh yeah, yeah. They're they're armed. No one else is. So I'm not really sure how else to interpret that. I'm not sure these people are even worth rescuing. I mean, they got captured by bullywugs. You say that we haven't engaged in combat with the bullywug yet. But who knows? They could be extraordinarily tough. These could be the bullywugs that spend all their time at the gym. They live in the woods. I doubt that. Oh, right. give me a stealth roll. Yeah, sure. I can do that. And that's just a 24. Just. It's not a crit or anything. Uh, for just a moment, one of the bullywogs uh, looks over in your direction. Um, it looks like it's scanning the tree line. And somewhat suspiciously, and but it does go back a moment later to uh, whatever it was previously paying attention to. You're a horrible person. You know why? Now this bitch has to die. It's killing time. Did you take the assassination order, thief? I should have gone assassin. For this specific circumstance, yes. Um, there are a number of tents. Um, arranged in a partial semicircle around a uh, campfire that's not currently lit. Which one gave me the dirty eye? Was it this one right here? Sure. If no one else is going to act, I'm going to keep going. I'm looking for berries to make stew. I'm going to move up to the tree. You, you, you know, the, the Bullywogs may have frog ancestry, uh, we had frog for dinner last night, so... Mm. 
Oh, I see. So when Lyle moves up to the tent, he notices that there's a bullywug in the tent directly to the north of him. Uh, curiously enough, the bullywug in the tent directly to the north of him notices that there's a halfling directly to the south of him. I'd like a stealth roll to hide behind the tent before you see me. Oh, no, you walked right up to the tent without a stealth roll. I am stealthy as shit, motherfucker. Stealth first, and then move. Otherwise, Bullywood sees you. Bitch, please, you're gonna die. Um, he also cries out with alarm. He uh, should. Rah. Death is imminent. It's a cartoon now? It's nice to see that we're all acting relatively together. Except for Scats. <laughs> Scats yeah. acts when Scats is meant to act. Not exactly. before, not after. Tell me, what's your what's your actual dexterity modifier? Or score, what's your actual dexterity score? Is a 15. Uh, Benorn? Oh, sorry. Same question. Well, Dex is 14. Right. Tillman will go before the goblins, Benorn will go after. Lyle will let you go before the guards... Yay. Okay. Uh, scats. Okay. Uh, I gotta zoom out here. I can't actually see too much stuff off my screen. Hit. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to head towards the guards, but I think I'm gonna have to use a double movement. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna just run up to them. Ah, all scary and imposing, even though I'm beauty. Okay. Uh, tell me. Um, I will cast spiritual weapon. Okay. Sorry, new spell. One moment. Uh, oh, that's a bonus action. Okay. Yeah, that's it's kind of cool for that reason. Uh, and I'm gonna place it. Uh, right between the bullywug and the tent, right to the right of him. Right there? Correct. And it's going to attack him. Okay. Yeah, they're like lean to, so there's no protection offered by the... Dude, I had that. dibs! Uh, nine is not going to hit a bullywug, though. Was, was he the one that, uh, gave you the stink eye? He's the one who saw me. No, no. If he's hitting the one in the tent... Oh, yeah, sorry. He is the one that saw you. And the one next to him gave me the stink eye. As far as I'm concerned, they all look the same, so they all have to die. Oh, I agree, but I was going to leave the one with the stink eye for you. That's fair. I do. Although he's keeping his weapon close enough that if the one with the stink eye starts killing you, he can still help. Did I miss him? You did. Oh, yeah. With with a nine, yes. Okay, well, that, I mean, you never know. That was a bonus action, however. Yeah, I'm doing my, my crossbow at him then. He'll be the the same one you hit before will be hard to hit though. Are the bullywugs taller than me? It'll be hard to hit because because there's a tent in front of you. So these are like lean to. Oh. So this this tent here is. Well, I can move up then. Okay. You can get the one who gave him stink eye. But if I go there, that yeah yeah now you can. Let me see everybody better. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I'm just doing that sacred flame. Ah uh, yes. Wait, I'm sorry. I just I want to be fair. I can't do that, can I? Because that's two spells, or does cantrip not count as a spell? You can if you can cast a you can cast a spell as a bonus action and, and an action as long as one of them is a cantrip. Okay. So if you have a level one bonus and a level one action, you can't cast both of those in one turn. What you can do. What, what you did is legal. It's probably the best example of okay doing such cool. a thing. I just wanted to make sure. Sure. Way to play by the rules. Um, okay, Goblin's turn. Uh, they're not going to act yet because... They're Goblins? They're, they're still being guarded by Bullywoogs, and while the situation has changed, there is now another Halfling. Not another, there is a scary-looking Halfling in front of them. Um, they're not really sure what to make of it yet. Uh, Venoran. Um, I can only see two Bullywugs clear line of sight. One is the one with the stink eye, and the other is the one over by the guard. I'm going to hit the guard with a fireball. Sounds good. 
to clarify, you mean the one by the guard, right? Cor- correct. The uh, the bully yep. was by the guard, not the not the. Thank you. I figure we'll get more. I, I can certainly understand what you would require back 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 in Pretty soon there'll be fewer bullywogs, and then it'll be easier to be clear about what's yeah, happening. Really, uh, eighteen will definitely hit, and uh, you will. In you will singe his flesh. Uh, Lyle, you finally get to. Are they singe his hair if he has hair? Do they have hair? But I don't think they have hair. If they're toad based, most likely not. Yeah. Um. Well, I'm gonna get theatric and go crazy. Oh, I was gonna move too. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Do your move. That's it. So I'm gonna run up the tent here to land here and attack this one. The stink guy. If you were not a halfling, I would have made your roll for that. But okay. <laughs> Plus, you could have. Get- does the spiritual weapon count as being a, a, a friendly next to an enemy? It's a very good question. It is a very good question. Um, it is technically a threatened square. Yeah, but that's not how the rule's written. The rule is if you have an ally within five feet. I Sure, why not? That's called karma, because eventually I have shit like that. Because I use that spell in our Wednesday game, and I hope that I can pull that bullshit, too. <laughs> Just send Josh the link. Help listen and cry. Alright, so my badass rapier attack from above. I'll edit out the part where you called it BS. <coughs> it weakens your argument a bit. Alright, seven. Are you doing your sneak attack? Yeah, twelve damage. Alright. Stink guy's dead. That'll teach you to give me the stink guy, you little bastard. Um, okay, this guard is going to um, step up. He's going to grab a rock, that w- one of the ones they were using to build the dam, and he's going to attempt to smack the bullywug in the head. Oh, he does. Oh, he nails him in the skull and does six damage. Uh, the other guard will do the same to the one standing just to the north of it. Uh, he will miss, however. When we get back, we recommend the first one to become the new captain. The next one, well, <laughs> whatever. Uh, the bullywug who just got hit, uh, missed, uh, is going to... It's going to try and bite the gentleman who just tried to hit it with a rock. He rolls an 11 and misses, and then he's going to stab at him with a spear. And he rolls a 17, which uh, doesn't miss check how I wrote this down, but okay, yep. That's going to be um, five piercing damage to the guard. Next, Bullywug. There's a lot of them. Um, it, they assume everything's going down the tubes here, so they're going to... The one... This one is going to attack the goblin. Wow, they're executing prisoners now. Well, they see an uprising. Ooh, 17. That is going to really hurt the goblin and then he's going to stab it with a spear 22 that's going to kill the goblin okay so they're not entirely pushbacks <laughs> okay bullywig's going to attack the guard hey good news we don't have to kill that goblin he's going to crit <laughs> and then he's going to stab with a spear and he's going to miss with that other Bullywug is going to attack that guard. Uh, miss with a 15, and then with a spear hit with a 6, and that is going... Ooh, that's going to kill the guard. On the plus, so we now no longer have to give any recommendations on the incompetent guard. The Bullywug in the tent next to Lyle is going to bite Lyle. Right Seven, 17. Shut up. 5 damage. He's then going to stab you with his spear. 16. Uh, that I'll have to check. Well, if it's the case, then take three damage. Uh, yeah, three more. Alright, so eight total for that turn. Uh, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Okay, Bluewig's gonna run up to attack Fenorin. He bites. Six. He spears. Uh, ten. So those will be two misses. 
5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Other Bullywug is going to run up, do the same. Bite! 17 on Benorin. I was over here being nonchalant and shit. What the hell's your problem? You were <laughs> chucking firebolts. 17, the other way. 17 for 4 damage. Oh, and then 19 for 4 more damage. Ooh. Me taking 8, not great. A magic user taking 8, oh damn. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. This Bullywug is going to run uh, around the spiritual weapon. Um, it requires his dash to get into melee with Lyle, so he will not act this turn. Okay, that was all the Bullywugs. Uh, scats. Kill the goblin. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's my, that is my plan. Uh, that will hit a goblin. And eight will kill a goblin. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. We didn't actually end up discussing my whole two weapon problem. Uh, I think you need to pick one weapon or the other because they're okay. not light weapons. Yeah, then I will hold my other one. But anyway. Okay. You can have a shield though, is the trade-off. So your yeah. AC goes up. Yes. Okay. Did you end up taking the feat where you can reroll damage? Yeah, I think that's the one that... You can reroll ones. Is it just ones, or is it ones and twos? What's it called again? I'll look is it, it up. a feat? It's Isn't a feat. the heavy weapon specialization? Or a mastery or something? She's looking yeah. it up. Then, if it's that feat, then you can reroll any damage and take oh, either one. Oh, right. Okay, well, look that up between turns. Yeah. Uh, Tillman. Alright, I'm just repositioning myself a little bit here. So I can see what's going on. And I'm going to, uh, with the bonus action, attack the Bullywug in the tent with the spiritual weapon. Ooh, nice. 21 will definitely hit with an awful lot of damage. And I'll do the... Six Actually, points. I'll sh shoot the Bullywug... Uh, not right above Venoran, but but to the northwest of him. Okay. Oh, okay. You said shoot. You meant sacred flame. Gotcha. Yeah, sorry. No, no problem. It's shooting. Oh, we and I want to... Nice, he misses. Yeah, he does. I just looked up the thief thing, and it says whenever an enemy of the creature is within five feet. Oh. It doesn't say it has to be a creature. It just says an enemy. Okay. So you can interpret that how you want. But as a disembodied sword, I'm okay with the sword qualifying in that situation. Then. Me too. I would think so. Um, any other movement or anything, Tillman? Uh, no. Okay. Um, goblin is dead. Goblin is dead. Uh, Benorn. I'm going to shoot. Uh, since it's suddenly in melee range. Uh, I'm going to shoot a chromatic orb at uh, uh, the Bullywood directly in front of me, and I'm going to twin that spell um, to hit the Bullywood to his left. Nice. So two chromatic orbs. All right. Not color spray? No, we had a suspicion. Yeah, that kills him quick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is to the one directly above, and then, then the next one will be to the one to his left. Uh, see, sharing is caring. Ooh, that's going to be two misses, yeah. Oof, but at least you blew a spell slot and a sorcery point in uh, screw you, that's screw you. I do like on the first one you rolled min damage and it was ten. Right. Yeah. Well, it's not min damage. It means one of the dice in it was ten. Was one it? of the dice had min, but... Still, there was a one and a two in there. And then a seven. Um, okay, uh, Lyle. Alright, um... Because Tillman's damaged the one to the north that attacked me, I'm not going to attack. I'm going to attack the one that tried to sneak up behind me. Now I'm wishing I had disengaged in the ring. And... Attack. With the rapier. 18, 18 hit. hit. Yes, oh yes. Uh, he doesn't have anything next to him, so the 5 is all I can do. Yep. And disengage. Also, what did you roll as your sneak attack last time? 
It's 2d6. Okay. Yeah, making sure you have that upgrade. Um, okay. One of the guards is dead, so he will take no action. The other guard is going to um, pick up a rock and... Or, he already has a rock, rather. And he will smacketh the Bullywug across the face. And miss. There goes your promotion, dude. The Bullywug is going to bite him back. Uh, and miss. And then he's going to poke him with a spear and also miss. Can't even handle a pointy stick. Bullywug is going to jump in the water and attack Scats. <laughs> it bites. It rolls a seven. It That's spears. Fair. It rolls a six. It really wants to attack that mud. This uh, Bullywug's going to run up and try to bite Lyle. Seven. Yes. Tries to spear you. Twenty. God That's damn it. For three. Uh, the other one's going to run up and try to attack Scats. It bites. Crit. Uh, three damage. It rolled, no. it rolled min for both, its, uh, for both its normal damage and the crit damage. Oh, ow, I'm so injured. And then it's spear. Uh, Seventeen. And that's going to be uh, for two more. Okay. Assuming 17 hits, but... Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's see. That takes care of that Bullywug. And that one. Alright. The two on Venoran. One of them is going to bite you. 20. And you take four damage. And then it spears you. Crit. Stop it. Five more. <laughs> The other one bites you. 22 for four more damage. And, oh, might have missed. Uh, 15? That's equivalent to my AC. Oh, then take three more. Luckily, they don't do a whole lot. Are you down? I'm at zero. Okay. Oops. One is going to charge at Tillman and bite. 17 for four damage. Poke you with the spear, but it's only going to roll an 11. The other one is going to run up. Bite you, rolls an 11. Spear you, it rolls a 13. So those should all be... Lights. Yeah. Okay, end of Bluewood phase. Scats. Okay, well, um... Yeah, so the feet savage attacker allows me to re-roll, once per turn, re-roll the damage and use either one. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. I'm gonna hit this one I'm facing. Oh, is this a 12 hit? It does not. Darn. Tillman. Okay, um, I know I'm, uh, do the, I'm, as a bonus action, I'm moving the spiritual weapon to, um, uh, one, one more down. There you go. And I'm going to attack the one, the one uh, north of me is the one that was in the tent, right? Yes. Fifteen will hit. Four will leave him very bad off. And can I sacred flame in melee, or how does that work? Yeah, that's fine. It's not a, it's not a ranged attack. It's a, because it's a deck save. Uh, he will definitely fail, and while two radiant damage isn't much to speak of, he had one hit point after your after your spiritual weapon uh, is, is done with him, so still a kill. Uh, Venoran, death save. I moved too. Uh, did you just move out of? Don't do did that. You oh, you're right. I forgot. Stay. I mean, you can do it, but you're right. No, I forgot that that silly thing is there. Yes. Uh, okay, success from Venorn. Lyle. Disengage. And run like a crazy motherfucker. Okay, do I have... Are you going down there to help Tillman, or... No, I'm going down there to attack Tillman. Yes, I'm going to help Tillman. <laughs> the re no, the reason I asked was because you know you could have attacked and disengaged and still run down there. Yeah, but this way I get advantage in my sneak attack. Okay. Okay. 
21 hits, I'm assuming? Very much. And it's dead. Yes, it is. And I bow. Because I'm an ass. <laughs> As you leave, like, three surrounding stats. Lyle and I high five. Over so nice of you. Uh, the guard lands his uh, his rock bash on the the bullywig. You know who I don't worry about in this group? Scats. <laughs> <laughs> I can beat people up myself. I'm good. Uh, well, you'll probably just join whatever group kills the rest of us too. Yeah, pretty much. Especially if they have soup. Oh yes. Uh, the guard lands a pretty solid blow on the bullywig, and uh, but it doesn't kill him. The bullywig is going to return with a bite. And do four damage to the guard. And then he's going to stab the guard with his spear. And miss the guard. Uh, the bully will go on scats, the one to the salt. Bites you. 21. <laughs> Three damage. Spears you. 13. That should be a miss. Yeah. The one to the top left of you is going to bite you. 13. Yes. Spear you. Ooh, that's an 18. That'll hit. Four more damage. Bullywig's gonna move in. Bite you. Thirteen, that'll miss. Spear you, seven, that'll miss. Uh, Bullywig, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. It's gonna run up and bite Tillman. Rolls a nineteen, does four damage. Jerk. And I need you to do a con save. For what? A constitution saving throw to maintain the sword. It is not a, uh... Concentration spell. Then you don't have to do a con save. Thank you. Welcome. Glad you know your spells better than he does. I really thought it was a con save. I did too, that's why I double checked before I cast (laughs) it. Uh, The other one's going to stab at Lyle for laughing so much. 13, that's going to miss. Damn straight it is. Oh, he rolled 35 on his spear. That's a lie. (laughs) He rolled 7. Okay, that is the Bullywig phase. And we're back around to scats. <sighs> See, this is where it'd be great if I could use both my weapons, because there are three stupid frogs. I mean, there are okay. ways you can wield two weapons, you just can't wield the weapons you have. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, okay, I'm just going to swing at the one directly in front of me, I guess. I'd like to point out, we are talking about scats, a creature that has enough brute strength to hit multiple things in one swing. And there are feats that will let her do things like that, but... I need to... feats other than being scats? <laughs> Aren't there, like, barbarian things that have kicked in that let you... <laughs> sure there are. At some point. And don't you now have, like, four rages between rests? I have three. Okay. I mean, these things are just too annoying to waste a rage on, because they're not really hurting me that much. That's, that's fair. I want you to contemplate that sentence later tonight. Okay. Yeah, you probably don't want to take reckless attack because with three people attacking you, you don't want to give all three of them advantage on their yeah. attacks. Which um, primal? We use the word people very loosely. Here. Right. Which primal path did you choose? Do you remember? Uh, the berserker. Ber- ber- yeah, that word I have only ever read and never had to say. Yeah, so I could use a frenzy, but that doesn't help because I'm not going into a rage. Right. If you did, for the duration of your rage, you can make a single melee weapon attack as a bonus action on each of your turns. So just to be clear, if you want to swing your sword twice, go into a rage and frenzy. But then I'd be... have a level of exhaustion. Ah, okay. Um, okay, so uh, yeah, 12 is going to miss. Okay, we almost always short rest after a battle anyway, so... You at least try to. Uh, Tillman... Okay, let's see. Boy, Renorin's out there by himself. Yeah, but he's also taking the head. I move the spiritual weapons south of the bush. Uh, that's south of Lyle. There you go. And it will attack the one next to me. With crit, a miss. Crit miss. And then I will fire my little cantrip at that same one. He definitely fails. Six radiant damage will be enough to kill him. And then I will move. Uh, 
Uh, Venorin, second death save. Nice. A little better, man. Just do a little better. It is very exciting when people roll 20s and are like, Oh, I thought I was dying. No, I'm, I'm up. I got better. I wasn't dying, I was just resting my eyes. Lyle. Alright. It's time for a rapier to the face. A better rapier to the face. Yeah, you need, a be you need an anatomy lesson on where faces are. <laughs> Yeah. Shut up. Uh, the guard who is in a life and death struggle with one bullywug holding nothing more than a rock will miss with a 12. Alright, he's not a captain material, we'll give him lieutenant. The uh, bullywug is going to fight back with a bite. Oh, do four damage, that's going to be enough to put the guard down. Oh, poor, poor, poor corporal jackass. Oh, in fact, come to think of it, I should have... Ooh. Okay, I, I was about to say I should have the other guards do um, death saving throws, <laughs> and the first one I have that guard up north do is uh, well, he rolled a twenty. I should set he rolled not dead. I'm gonna set it so you guys can see the bar there. These are they're not important NPCs, but they're worthy. We were of requested death. to bring back alive people, not a bag of three heads. Mm. Uh, okay, the. Um, Cluster or whatever around uh, scats. Bite on scats. 19. 5 damage. Spear. Uh, 12. That'll miss. Bite on scats. 16. I have a 16. Okay, question. What, I think I've. Okay, so the shield gives me. Plus 2 to AC. Plus 2. And before when I had the um, other feet on, which. I couldn't hold my shield, but I had a plus one to AC. I had a 17, and now, once I put my shield back on, I only have a 16, which doesn't make sense. No, it does not. My That's math, spidey senses are tingling. Did you have your shield equipped without realizing it last time? Mm, no, because... What, what, are you wearing armor? No. Okay, so the barbarian has that spe uh, special armor, uh, armor math, doesn't it? I, I have clicked the Barbarian's Unarmored Defense. Okay, so Unarmored Defense says when you're not wearing armor, it's 10 plus dex plus con. So what is 10 plus dex plus con? That would be... Um, 14. And plus... Sh the 2 is 16. Okay. Okay. Oh. Well, then so your armor was wrong to start with before. Well, yeah, I'm going to add it just... right now. Yeah. Well, either way, 2 damage from that bite. Okay. No, you were on the spear. I, I said spear, but I never rolled it. Shut up. I bite spear, bite, and then a spear. The spear is going to be ooh, 21, and that's going to roll. It's going to be two more. You're not going to die from any particular wound. You're, it's going to be like the, the, <laughs> the, the a thousand the, cuts. Yeah, the mortician's not going to be able to identify a, a cause of death. It's going to be like, <laughs> how am I it supposed to know which this actual? This one and this one and ooh. this one. They are, these are some uh, top-notch bullywugs. Uh, rolled a 17 on its bite for 5 damage. And then, uh, and then 21 on the spear for 7 more. Sorry, what? I got distracted. Uh, no problem. <laughs> um, okay, the sequence of attacks was... Uh, the damage was... Your AC is six, uh, 16? Yeah. Alright, so 5, 7, 9... Uh, 14... Uh, tw 22 damage total for the turn. Oh, you, geez, Louise. But you might That's have taken some of that already. I took four of that. So She's going down. None of them did yeah. four. No, 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 because there was a two and the two. Oh, okay. Oh, if you took up to the two and the two, then it's just 13 more. Yeah. Oh, 13 more. Okay, I'm not quite down then. Just very close. Bullywigs uh, bites Lyle. 10. No. Nope. Crits with a spear for 10 more. For 10 actual damage. Uh, Scats, it is your turn. Um. Oh, sorry. I was looking at my. Die! Thingy in front of me. Die. The 13th hit? No. no. <sighs> Tillman. 
I'm gonna die. How far are you below? What's your maximum hit points? Um, a lot. It is 37. And what are you at now? Three. I will do... I can't do that one at the same time. Okay. I will do, as an action, I will hold up my holy symbol, and you get 15 back. Mm, Thank you. That puts you right at half, right, pretty much? Yeah. Yay, now I don't think I'm going to die for paper cuts this turn, at least. Can you only target one creature with that? No, but I used every all the hit points I had. Right, but can you give her fourteen and give Benorin one? Well, I'm going to do something different for oh, Benorin. Oh, sorry. Two successful saves anyway, and no one's successful, so hey, you got time. I'm not sure Tillman knows that. That's a little bit of deep insight into your game mechanics. Yay, meta. He he, he can he can see that I appear stable. Right. That wound's clotting well. I think I it's going to be okay. The works, yeah. The little machine next to me is still going beep beep. Now, 12 seconds ago, it was a lot less clear how you were doing. But well, the last 12 seconds... I actually raise Venoran up so he can take part in the battle. Okay. So I cast uh, the first level spell, Healing Ward, or Healing Word, as a bonus action. He is within 60 feet of me. Just no, oh, yeah. really? I'd like to point out you're way too close to Venoran to be safe. <laughs> oh, nice. And he gets eight hit points back. I do not activate my spiritual weapon. Right, because you used your bonus action. I can't. I can't turn a move action to a bonus action, can I? No. Boo. Uh, Venorn, you spend half your movement standing up. I assume. Yeah, I'm going to uh, advance a little. Right about there, I think. I mean, I'm going to try that chromatic orb thing again and see if my luck changes. Uh, the two north of uh, Scats. Make you feel any better. It's probably not going to get worse. <laughs> it can't get worse. Alright, this is the one directly uh, uh, above her. Miss. We stand corrected. Hey, there we go. There we go. That's one dead. You. Yeah. Hey, at least you did the max damage to the one that uh, hadn't taken any hits yet. Nice. <laughs> As opposed to Max damage to the one who had one hit point left. Uh, he's got five. Uh, nice job. M- much better. Uh, Lyle. All right. We're gonna try the face stabbing again, and this time we're actually gonna go for the face with a twenty. That will definitely hit. And sixteen damage total with the sneak attack because the not attacking floating sword. He's dead. And then I run over here. All right, guard is going to step up and swing on the bullywug to the north of Scats. I got your back, Scats. Ew, because I'm failing at this right now. He's going to miss. Well, shucks. Uh, the other guard is going to roll a death saving throw. And he's going to pass. Uh, bullywug is going to cross the river, bite the guard. Five is going to miss. Five is going to miss. Uh, Bullywood is going to attack Scats with a bite. Seven, that'll miss. And a spear to Lyle. Crit. Shite. Ten. Down. The uh, other one is going to attack the guard that's now up with a bite. Uh, It's going to miss with a nine. And then a spear on Scats. Six, that'll miss. Cats. Okay. Which one is the most damaged at this point? Uh, the, the one two? to the north of you looks worse off. Miss. Smash it. Die. Does a 14 hit? It does not. Oh my gosh. At least I've gone from a 12 to a 13 to a 14. I'm. You're almost there. One more. One more. Getting you're, there. You're progressing upward, which is good. <laughs> uh, Tillman. Okay, I move the spiritual weapon 20 feet. Basically to the left of Venorin. Venorin sees a spectral sword flying at him. Actually, it is a scythe. Oh, sorry. Because that's reassuring. I try to make myself look very big. Oh, wait, no, that's wild. Yes. And Lyle. And Lyle. 
and I will stabilize Lyle with the uh, thing I do cantrip. Okay. We're not dying. Uh, Venorn. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna do a magic missile into the Bullywug to the south of Cat, the uh, Scats. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna level one it. So uh, all three into the Bullywug south of Scats. Dead. Nice. Yay. Uh, Lyle, be unconscious. Could if you really want me to. Uh, guard is going to swing on the bullywug to actually he's going to pick up one of the spears from one of the dead bullywugs, so he can make that's his natural weapon, so he can actually make a good attack with it. Uh, he rolls an eleven. Um, he can make a good a roll a good roll with it. It doesn't mean he will. The other one makes a death saving throw, has a failure. Bullywug phase. Um, one is going to attack the guard to the north. Do two damage. That guard is now dying. And the other Bullywug is going to attack Scats. Bite. Five. That'll miss. Spear. Ooh. Twenty-two. Three damage to Scats. Fine. And it is Scats' turn. Die, you think, in front of me? Oh my god. Not with an 11. This is not your fight. This is not going well. I haven't hit anything yet. Uh, Tillman. You hit one thing. Kind of. Did I? At the very beginning. Yeah, you, you've made, you've landed a couple hits, but not in a while. Okay, move my spiritual scythe to the left of the one attacking Skats. You got it. And I miss. And you miss. Lenorn. Firebolt. One north of Skats. Wait, I move over here and I... Uh, spare the dying on the guard. Okay, uh, Venorn, you were going to uh, firebolt. Firebolt, one to the north. Yeah. You know, Tillman, I thought you only did that for party members. Crit mess. Really? I do it for party members first. Uh, Lyle, be unconscious. Well done. Uh, the other one you. is going to make a death saving throw. He is going to fail. The other guard is going to be unconscious. Um, not quite as well as Lyle, but... Ah, sorry. Well, he's not been doing it as long, so he needs more practice. Uh, this bullywug is going to leap across the river and attack Tillman. With a I'd like to point out that I've perfected unconsciousness to an art form. Fifteen on Tillman. That is a miss. Okay. Spear. Uh, that's an eight, so that's definitely a miss. You will five gold for this performance. Attack on scouts, 11, that'll miss. And a spear, 11, same, same thing. Ah, ah, ah. Alright, scouts, here's a chance. Okay. Blue wig in front of you. I'm going Take to smash it. Take with my halberd, I am done with my axe, it's not going well. Letting superstition ah! override, uh... Mathematics, nonetheless, it kills the bully wolf, so... Yeah. Uh, Tillman. I will... Uh, let's see. Is the bonus action? Move my spiritual weapon. Yeah, that's fine. And attack with it. Yeah, that's a miss. And I will use my cantrip to attack. It fails. Three is exactly the number you needed. Huh. And then I move up to this guy. Now unconscious. Yep. All right. Everyone is uh, everyone is stable. Um, the guards, the two guards, and also Lyle are unconscious. I feel so judged. <laughs> I leave my spiritual weapon up till the spell naturally goes out, just in case anyone else comes out of the bushes. Sure. Wow, we just woke up and we're all down hit points and stuff. <laughs> Some of you down more than others. I don't know what you're talking about. This is, I'm just not a morning person. <laughs> this is what happens when I don't have coffee before we get into a fight. I'm just saying. Tillman, you have... Or, uh, sorry, Tillman. Myself. <laughs> Lyle, you have 13 hit points back. Yay! 
So, uh, we have this lovely camp with lean-tos. Anyone up for a short rest? It smells like Bullywug. We should burn it. Shall we short rest before we burn? Uh, I'm also gonna check the goblins, see if any of them have stabilized automatically or anything. Or if they're dead, basically. Well, the best way to check to see if a goblin is stabilized is to put a sword in it. They're both dead. Actually, I can do a um, a group heal. Keep talking. Yeah, it takes ten minutes, but it'll do 2d8 plus a bunch. Do it. Please. What is it, six creatures? Yeah. So nice. I'll even get the guards if they want. Yeah, because it's the same. It's not like you split that among the party, right? That's right. Each person gets whatever you roll. So just don't screw up this roll. Oh, thanks. Uh, ten minutes will go by with that. So how long is your spiritual weapon good for? Is that a minute? It's gone, yeah. Okay. Um, I'll even say you drag the guard nice and close, and you say a little prayer. And, yeah, nobody's going to attack you when, during the span of ten minutes. Uh, wow. I am back to full. Well, I also have that special thing where it, right. any healing spell I do does two plus the spell's level back also. Uh, the guards are feeling very refreshed. So I'm a healing machine. They are overhealed. <laughs> I like how Scats is such a tank that the, even that didn't get her back to full. <laughs> I mean, close. But everyone else is... Oh, and Venoran's got a couple hit points missing. Scats just needs some soup. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, the, the guards are awake. Uh, you give them maybe some water uh, and so forth. Okay. So after our little rest, we gotta go back, rejoin the caravan. Um, the guards are interested in saving the rest of their people. Okay, here, you carry this bag. Do they know where it is? Uh, they tell you that in the cliff, um, the small cliff behind the where the tents are, there's a hidden passage into a cave. A few more of their people were taken in there, uh, along with some more bullywugs. Right, should we give them their uh, friends' heads and send them back to town while we go into the cave? I'm a horrible person. Mm-hmm. And you spend a lot of money on sacks because you don't want to reuse a bloody sack. It's unhygienic. What? Why? Somebody will explain germ theory to you. No, you put your money in the bloody sack and no one will go after it because now it's covered in somebody else's blood. Multi-purpose security. Anyone want to borrow a gold piece? So security through unpurity. Exactly. Oh, well, while you guys are not acting, um, the two guards are going to go start scouting out the uh, entrance. No, take the bag. It'll be funny. Take it. Yeah, you guys are still messed up, so go go back to town. We'll take care of this. Why do I smell a fucking change coming in for my yeah. alignment? Well, they healed and they have swords. They make good fodder. Ooh, I'm not the only one. That's up to them. <laughs> hey, I, you, you do it with uh, civvies. I'm saying these are trained professional guys. They at least have a level of something. If you insist they go, they'll go. But if you leave it up to them, they will stay. Right. Okay, you watch this bag. You're just trying to get the bag in their hands. I am. And then as soon as you do, if they don't immediately check it, you're going to start like... Did you look in the bag? Did you look in the bag? No, no, I'll do that when we come back out. You should You should look in the bag. Yeah, we don't want to freak them out before they <laughs> help us fight. Uh, who's going into there f in the first? Or are you going to let I don't the have start first? I vote scats. She usually oh, volunteers yeah. for such things. My, my, I was, but my microphone was on mute. See, there you go. So, part yeah. of the course. Alright. I should probably be number two. Tell me. Uh, no. I'll, I'll come in last, and then... Do you think the guard should be last, or the guard should be in the middle? What do you think? Uh, we're going to say no. the guards The guards walked in. Alright, who's got night vision? Has oh, I vision. don't. This is the problem. Nobody has it. 
I do. I do. Alright, All right, nobody who's a frontliner has it. We're gonna go the simple way here, which is that uh, the people with dark vision are going to somehow magically, amazingly coordinate and and um, or communicate the position of other things well enough that everyone can see. Um, yesterday, I have a perfect idea. I have a brilliant idea. I'm gonna take a torch. I'm gonna tie it to one of the guards' heads. Um, the guard is gonna shove you. Fifteen. Nope. I had a Warforged character that uh, just uh, put a sconce on his shoulder for a torch. It's like a headlight. Like one of those miner's lights. Right. Or helmets, yeah. Just a torch. If the lamp goes out, that means we're low on oxygen. Also, or the guard gave us. I mean, really. At any rate, uh, you guys should be able to see... <laughs> I love DM exasperation. <laughs> Stats, wanders, and in. Awesome. Uh, as the two of you enter that area, uh, above you, you suddenly hear the fluttering of wings. No, not a swarm. No swarms. You said no more swarms. God damn it. Swarm. What? I don't remember saying that. You were drunk and it was Wednesday. It was at the regular game. Doesn't sound like something I would say. Did someone actually light a torch? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. The guard. Gave it to the guard. I lit a match about uh, 15 minutes after I woke up. Why Why does my cleric get great initiative, and my paladin that actually needs it gets like three? This way you can get to the front line and die faster. <laughs> Again, that's not his character. I didn't say it was his character, I just said it's the reality. Fair enough. Uh, okay, everybody's in there. Sort descending. Uh, Tillman, you, you definitely see a giant, um, especially because you're one of the ones with dark vision, you see a, a cloud of bats descend and start swarming around Scats and Lyle. Two so, of them. Only cloud towns and swarms? Can no, I no. shoot a this sacred one. flame in the area of the swarm? Sure. Yeah, I dealt with this issue before, and I generally allow it. Uh, they will fail, and they will take your two damage. That's right, two. As a sad request, can we do more than two damage next time? This group and swarms are not good friends. Yes, especially since I'm surrounded by them. One of the swarms is going to, uh, bite scats. 21! Wow. Seven damage to scats. The other one is going to bite scats, uh, 14, so that'll miss... What, don't you mean Lyle? No. Oh, at least they have to attack. Scats is further in the room. Uh, Venorn. I tried. I should give all your characters, like, a PTSD attribute where any t- you're at disadvantage when you go up against swarms. <laughs> just to be thematically consistent. Why? Because we hear swarms, we see swarms, we just say, fuck it. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, fair. I, I, I think I think you'd have to go the other way with it though, and give Scats rage automatically for free. Like a free, yeah. Free, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, uh, Firebolt. Um, one that I can see directly ahead, uh, past one, two, three, four people. Yeah, we'll see how that affects the AC. But go ahead and make the attack. It's a sword. Uh, fifteen will hit and do two more damage. Again, with the two. What the hell? Uh, Lyle. Alright, well... We're pacing ourselves. Yeah. I learned last time that the rapier's not the greatest at this, so I'm gonna use my belaying pin. I'm just gonna start swinging blindly in this swarm's direction. I'm gonna be honest with you, that's not gonna be any more effective. But bludgeoning versus piercing. Yeah, damage resistance, bludgeoning, piercing, slashing. Oh, anything that. that's swinging at them is going to be low because they're a swarm. Yeah. I'm Use the, the sack of heads. <laughs> uh, crit miss will not surpri- not surprisingly uh, miss, hence, hence the name. Yeah, even with the... I know I don't crit miss. I'm a halfling. Oh. Well, then I need a second attack roll. Yeah, and a seven is not much better. <laughs> Okay. 
Wow. I, I needed something to get boost my speed, so that was good. <laughs> uh, from Christmas to a 7, which is only one higher. The guard is going to run into the room, and it's going to land its attack. Um, of course, it's attacking with a spear, and so even though it rolled a 4, it will only do 2. Uh, the other one will also run into the room and stab with a spear and roll a 10, which will miss. Uh, scats. Going to the one directly north of me. Hit it with my Howard. Crit. Huh. That will do it. Four. Okay. Does she dissipate the swarm? No. Well, because that's slashing. Although, uh, oh, yeah. It ends up being nine damage. So, so your, your your great axe, by the way, is magic. Just a, a gentle reminder. Would would that so they wouldn't be affected? Like, sorry, eh, sometimes. Their things, yeah. A lot of things that are resistant to certain types of um, damage are not. Are, it'll say like resistance to piercing, slashing from non-magical weapons. That's okay. fairly. I'm not saying that's the case in this situation, but that is a common phrase. Oh, okay. I just I haven't hit anything with my axe, but every time I've swung my halberd, the pit. Mm. Even though mathematically the axe is better, but that doesn't yeah. the game doesn't care what's mathematically exactly. better. Exactly. Right. My dice don't hate me. Right. Uh, Tillman. Who's the force? Sacred flame. I think the problem is at one time I used the hammer. Ooh, it's going to pass. Swarm of bats. Uh, one of them is going to bite uh, scats. 14. The other one is going to bite the guard. Uh, also 14. Both of those are misses. Uh, Venorn. Fireball! Okay. 14 will hit. A number of the bats uh, erupt into flame and fall to the ground. Delicious scats. Wait till we're done fighting. Darn it. Wild. We should just carry a large bowl to throw under swarms for scouts. <laughs> use the rapier. 16 should hit. Oh, yeah. For a total of 10 damage. Maybe. What do you mean, maybe? Uh, I do 10. That doesn't mean they take 10. Fair. The guard is going to stab it with a spear and roll uh, 19. And for 7 damage... Wouldn't that be a crit? Isn't a guard like a fighter? Uh, no. Damn it. The other one is going to do the same. Roll a 12, which will hit. Someone make sure Scats isn't trying to eat the bats on the spears like shish kebab. <laughs> Delicious. Uh, well, it is Scats' turn. Okay, I'm going to overcome the urge to eat those delicious bats. I'm going to smash the one north of me. This guy says, hey, if it's good enough for this shish kebab guy, it should be good enough for me. Okay. <laughs> uh, the swarm in front of Scats uh, dissipates. There were very few members left, and it, they scatter in all directions. Uh, Tillman. They fail. They will take your radiant damage. Take it or like it. The bats are going to try and bite Lyle. 17 on Lyle. Nobody likes you. 6 damage. Ah, oh, sorry, uh, 3 damage. Yay! Uh, Venorn. Get up so I can see this other guy. And fire! Tonight. It's <laughs> uh, 13 will hit and t- for 2 damage. Like, seriously, this thing does like 12 damage. I don't understand the statistics on them. Uh, Lyle. The statistics are they dice hate you, much like the way they hate me. As a. Ooh, crit. Crit. I do 13, 21 damage. Yep, they're gone. Yay. It was my two that pushed him over. It really was. You, you got them all lined up for that last rapier strike. Okay, so uh, in honor of scats, I pull a spoon out of my mess kit, <gasps> and I cast light on the head of the spoon, and oh I my gosh. 
hand it to her. She can slide it into a bracer so that the head of the spoon is sticking out to provide light. If she wants to cover up, just stick it all the way in. <gasps> yes! Couldn't you just cast awesome. light on one of the guard's heads? Food! Uh, I want to be able to hide the light if we need to. Yeah, you just cut off the head and put it in the bag. <laughs> oh, see? Too late. I already didn't think of that. You gotta think ahead, man. But I'm cheap. I'm eating the bats, by the way. No. Whoops, whoops, whoops. I'd like to go that we go with lights put out. <laughs> yeah. Somebody cast magical darkness. Did you hide the spoon already? No, I'm curious why. I just... <laughs> well, interesting thing happened when you uh, put the light out there like that. Uh, you drew the attention of... A giant frogs. Yeah. And Bullywurg. Oh god. Time. Oh god, is this some sort of weird kinky Bullywurg sex dungeon? Where they like play around with frogs? I didn't think it was till now. Well, it wasn't my first thought either. Lila, you were up first. Just wrong. Um. If I dash, I can get to there. Yeah, screw it. All in, I'll dash. And I'll rape you the one immediately in front of me. And the lights just work. Yeah, unfortunately, Lyle, you're at disadvantage because... Uh, well, you still... Oh, no, you miss. You miss. No, 15. Yeah, no, it misses a giant frog. Um, oh, no, no, sorry, it doesn't. It doesn't. Ha! 11 max damage. All right. Uh, yeah, so uh, you enter... You basically... Um, I fixed the lighting because it was letting too much... Be visible. Um, so you are in Let's darkness. Debate that. Yeah. Uh, giant frogs. Uh, Critmas on Lyle. It ate the other giant frog. Awesome. Critmas on Lyle. They ate each other. Awesome. That's not what happened. Uh, it's gonna. <laughs> giant frog's gonna bite the guard. Roll a nine. That'll miss. The different riveting tones got me. <laughs> and uh, six when it tries to bite scats, so none of those will land. And it is scats' turn. Okay, I'm gonna hit the one beside me there. Oh, poop! I need to stop using this axe. Uh, but twelve will hit. Oh, will it? Oh, mm-hmm. right, it's a giant frog, not a bully wolf or whatever. Uh, okay, so six damage. Do you want to re-roll that? Yes, I'm gonna. Okay, I'll just do it. another attack. We'll, it'll it will hit. Eight. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. Um, guard's turn. Guard will step up and spear the giant frog. Scats is fighting. It rolls a sixteen, so it'll do four more damage. The other guard will attack it as well. It rolls a twenty-one. And we'll do two more damage. That brings us to Tillman. I shoot... Can I shoot the one in front of Scats with my crossbow? Yeah, sure. And Lieutenant Cross crit fails. Yeah. Uh, Let's see. The Bullywoods will... Step up, but I'm not going to let them get through that uh, choke point. Uh, Venorn. Uh, I'm going to shoot a firebolt at the frog to the east of Scat. 19 will hit. 5 will be enough to roast the frog. Mmm, smells good. Uh, Lyle. Well, being reckless and foolhardy has gotten me this far. In, in total darkness, he swings his sword at whatever's in front of him, and he feels it land. On oh, nothing. I'm gonna come over here now. Your mama was eaten by a Talk French as he comes out. Yeah, pretty much. Come ooh, on with me. Ooh, unfortunately, that triggered an opportunity attack, and you Like hell it did, I disengaged. Oh, okay. Suck it. Um, it's gonna chase you. <laughs> And it's going to bite you. Crit. 
Now you're just being petty. Yep. <laughs> Six damage. And you are grappled. <laughs> Uh, the other giant frog is going to bite the guard. Rolls a nine, and that will miss. Well, yet, so that's good. No, that's the wrong giant frog, isn't it? Or did I kill one? You killed one. Awesome. Uh, scats. I didn't tell you because you were in darkness when you did it, but... Uh, okay. I'm going to step over here slightly. So I can smash that giant frog. That team will definitely hit. See, you're, I think somebody fixed oh. your sword. I'm going to see it re- re-roll the damage there. Nice. Oh, you seven. That's a, a good, solid strategy. Bigger numbers, good. Uh, the guard is going to sw- uh, s- stab its spear at the uh, giant frog, and that is going to miss with an eight. The other one is going to be um, unable to use its. Um, actually, spears have reach, don't they? Uh, oh no, they're thrown. Depends on the spear. They're thrown. Uh, the other one's going to throw its spear at the giant frog. Uh, Twenty-one. Ooh, that is going to do six more damage to the giant frog. Earlier, di- earlier editions, long spears had reach and short spears didn't. Uh, Tillman. I shoot at the giant frog. 23 will definitely hit. For a whopping 3 points of damage. Whopping 3. Uh, the bully woke is, uh, this turn they're going to be able to, they're going to find a way to move past, um, one of them is going to find a way to move past. Uh, they both will. Because they can tell the frog to move, and the frog will move. So, one bullywug bite on scats. Crit. Five damage. Spear on scats. Uh, ten, so that'll miss. Bullywug bite on the guard. Uh, crit. So that's going to do eight to the guard. And a spear on the guard. Uh, crit. So that's going to do eight more on the guard. It's irrelevant. The guard is unconscious. All right. Uh, Venorin. I'm going to do a... Magic Missile Level 1 at the northernmost Bullywood. All three. Left him with one hit point. Uh, Lyle. All right. We're going to go back to the eye stabbing. And this time we're going to do it with light. Which I'm apparently good with. Yep, that'll definitely hit. Nine damage on the giant frog. Does it kill it? Nope. I'd like to Actually, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you're at disadvantage because you're grappled. What do you mean? You're in its mouth. Inappropriate, just gives me more target. That's not how that works. Dude, um, what are you doing with this frog? I'm more concerned about what it's doing to me. Bad touch. Well, we walked into a place with the lights turned low in a romantic setting with bullywugs and very large frogs. After the fight, I'll show you on the Venoran where it touched me. (laughs) If if you listen carefully, you can hear Barry White. I mean, show me on the Venoran statue where it touched you. (laughs) (laughs) Well, the head is way over there, so. Uh, Scats, it bit you. Uh, You take two damage, and you are grappled. Oh, good. I love being grappled. Well, it's your turn. I need a ten-foot pole, though. Inappropriate. You know, as soon as I said that, I was like, that could be taken very poorly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you think about that with this group. Oh, crazy how that happened. That, oh. Great, it's broken again. Yeah. It doesn't, it, it's just it's just scared of bully wugs. Uh, okay, I'm going to just swap the two guards because the other one's going to basically step on top of the first one try and spear the bully woes it it as a place to get advantage Uh, 16 is going to hit and 7 will be enough to kill the giant frog does he get a height advantage? no Uh, the other one makes a death saving throw he has one success was this the competent guard or the incompetent guard? I just want to make sure I didn't keep track well, the incompetent one's probably the one that's unconscious. So. Fair. Sleeping Does the top. giant frog have disadvantage or anything for grappling someone else? Yes. It, I don't. It can't really make another attack against another target while it's grappling somebody. Okay, let me amend my question. Do I have advantage on the frog because it's <laughs> grappling someone else? Yes. Sure. 
Oh, cool. Didn't help, but... <laughs> <laughs> but you had it. I, I totally still suck. That's the, that's the common yeah. problem. Uh, Bullywig is going to bite the other guard. 19. Does 5 damage to the guard. Uh, then he's going to spear the guard. You guys uh, said bringing the guards was a bad idea. Misses <laughs> with that. Uh, Bullywig is going to bite Scats. Ten, that'll miss, and a spear on Scats. Uh, Seventeen. He can hit me with a spear while he's grappling me. Oh no, no, the thing that was grappling you is dead. You're not grappling. Oh, you I are taking being... you are taking three damage. Uh, yeah, no. the bullywigs can't grapple you. The frogs do. Okay, I thought it was the bullywig that grappled me. No problem. Uh, Venorn. Um, fireball, bullywig to the north. Yeah. Ha-ha! Oh, damn. Yay! Very dead. Nice. Uh, just the ten minutes. Uh, Lyle. Back to the killing. The uh, second one's an 18. Yeah, but you're at disadvantage, not advantage. Shut up. So that's going to miss. Keep the second one. Uh, giant frog. Uh, it's going to try to swallow you, but you resist. Yeah. Uh, scats. Okay, I'm gonna sneak down here. No, nobody listens to Sepultura. What? God damn it. I don't even know what that word is. It's not a word. You're all broken. I'm gonna re-roll the damage, see what I get here. It, 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 listen to, I'm guessing it's music? Oh, please, okay. Go with the first yes. damage. Go with the first one, <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, that's going to be nine damage. That's an awful lot. It's a Brazilian metal band. It was my halberd, too. I don't like this axe. Yeah, you're very swapping big. weapons very fluidly here. Very primitive primal it's drums. Okay. It's sick shit. Uh, What's that? Guard is going to stab at the Bullywug and get a 21, and that's going to finish off the Bullywug. The other guard is going to, to do a death save. Whoops. And fail. Tillman. There we go. That 23 will definitely hit. You, you definitely yeah. need to promote that crossbow. Uh, Venorn. Um, who I can neither see nor get to a position where I can see the other giant frog. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I guess, ready in action if I can get a glimpse of the frog to fire a firebolt at it, but otherwise just chill here. Lyle. Shoot in the general direction of my kicking legs. They're slightly above them. God damn it! Useless stabbing. Wow, uh, he rolls an eight trying to swallow you. That's not going to do it. Uh, scats. No comment. Exactly. Um, so as far as Scats is aware, there's nothing surrounding her, so she's good. She's going to take her spoon and go back to eating all the food on the floor. Fair enough. Uh, one of the guards is going to try to do a medicine check on his friend. He Fail has it. one? He's going to try. And the other one's going to do a death saving throw. And pass. Tillman. will definitely hit seven damage. Uh, Venorn. Same same protocol? Yeah, I really can't see a way to get a shot in there. I mean, unless he's further down because he's grappling Lyle than he looks like he is, but... No, I think I think you're right. He'd, he'd be just out of your vision. It's probably more like Lyle's where he is than the other way around. But not exactly aligned to a grid. Uh, Lyle. Plus, we have to, at some point, Lyle has to solve his own problems. Exactly. The only way he'll, he'll mature. So no. that's never going to happen. Nope. I keep on waiting for the frog to successfully swallow him. Uh, ten. That's not going to be this turn. Uh, Scats is eating. Guard is, is going to try to do a medicine check. 
and uh, he still doesn't know what is wrong with his friend. The other guard is going to do a death save. Crit miss, he's oh. dead. Nice. It's another head for the bag. He didn't know what was in the bag before, he knows now. Tillman. That starts getting too heavy, I did learn levitate. <laughs> Tillman manages to land. Oh, Till Tillman kills it. Lyle, you are free. God damn it. One round. Who wants frog legs? I, I will take frog legs. I didn't think you were going to answer any other way than that. Mix them in with the uh, bats. So good. Okay, you freak me out sometimes. <laughs> what? I'm just, yeah. Scouts take 12 back. Oh, thank you. Just like I'm not the group's moral compass, you're not the group's culinary compass. No. I pull out a knife out of my mess kit, and I cast light on the blade, and I hand it to Lyle to put in his, uh, what do you call that thing? Same thing. Chest. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> no, I've had enough of that. Thank so you very you can much. Hide it or show it or not. I'm gonna tuck it in the top of my greave. All right, cool. It, it looks as though this cave continues on inward. Yay! There's Got not it. a whole lot that way except dead frog, and then well, more dead frog. That that you know of from swinging in the darkness, but yeah. Um, no, I killed it. See, the eye's right here. <laughs> it's still attached to your sword. That's why I was... Should missing. we go briefly look on the left, or... I think we should go kill everything on the right. I'll, I'll go look on the left. I have, I have night vision. Fine. It was right. It's well, a don't trust me. I'd like uh, to point out I've never stolen from the party. Plot continuity. <gasps> I have light now. Mm-hmm. Alright, so there doesn't appear to be anything down here. To the left! Left or, or the other left? You can actually hear the OCD happening. Uh, okay, Scats, when you come around that corner... Really? Ooh. Yeah. It's almost like they live here or something. Oh, did I mention I'm out of level one spell slots? Just oh. thought I'd bring it up. Um, I'm gonna, just to keep things moving, I'm just gonna have you guys keep the initiative order you have. Since at the end of the day it's all... Fine. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess if you guys want to roll, I'm gonna have the guards keep the ones they have. Everyone else can roll new initiative. Oh, I'd like to roll a new initiative. I'm good with my initiative. I went ah, up poop. That was worse. Well, since mine got cleared out... Well, people didn't seem happy about staying with the same initiative. And mine went down. You should have roll mine. Everyone else should have kept there. Yeah, I think Lyle and I switched. <sighs> yep. And, and Lyle got mine, so... I went to a four. I mean, granted, the meat shields work their best when they're on the front line, but still. Well, Great. one of them is on the floor. Um, so, let's, I'm going to say Tillman... We're gonna the bullywigs see scats and scats sees the bullywigs. So the, it's not really a surprise round, but the first round is gonna be the bullywigs and scats, and then after that, the rest of you will be able to join. Good. So the bullywigs swarm scats. Oh, good. Uh, it's a swarm. Free yeah. Bye. No. Twenty scats. You take four. Spear. He's gonna miss. Bite from the other one. Crit miss. Spear from the other one. Eighteen. It's going to be seven more. Uh, oh, the guard should probably join you. Well, the guard. The other one's dead. Oh, there's a new spear. He's over the in the background. The guards are ahead of me. I always run behind the guards. Okay, so what you're saying is the... Behind you is unprotected. Good to know. Correct. He brings up the rear. Uh, okay, so the guard is not acting this turn. Vidorn's not acting this turn. Lyle's... I'll let Lyle act. Yay? Because you were you were right behind Scats. And, and once they moved out, you'd be able to see that there was, you know, a problem. Stabbery. Yay! And I got Scats there, so... Ha! 17 damage. Dead. Whee! 
Um, we're back around. It looks like we're through. Oh, and then we're at Scats. It's taking okay. a lot of damage, but. Uh, well, you know. Uh, 16 will definitely hit. Do you want to reroll that? Oh, yes. Yes, I really <laughs> want to reroll yeah, that. that yeah, he's dead. <laughs> he had 11. And uh, the reroll, that's a handy thing to have. Uh, okay. Go team halfling. Oh, yeah. Uh, Tillman. You are free to act. Uh, does it look just... like there's any enemies on the board? No. Which may affect how you act. You do, uh, however, you start heading toward these guards, turning big ones into little ones. Uh, yeah, you do notice that they are, they appear to, they're bound. They also don't have weapons. Because that would be silly. I hold up my finger to my mouth in the, uh, quiet, usual quiet, uh, hand signal. Sure. Unfortunately, culturally, that doesn't translate well, so now you're telling him to scream at the top of his lungs. Mm. Whichever. One culture's right is another culture's green. Mm. It's, actually, it's an extraordinarily inappropriate gesture in his homeland. Right. The things he just said about his mother. For a cleric, you should be ashamed. Is this my son? Uh, okay, so he is quiet. He nods at you, and he he nods. He kind of uh, cocks his head to the right, um, suggesting that there's something to the north of where he is. And I let the party know quietly. What? <laughs> um, I'll go ahead with my stealthy bits. Okay, you're carrying a whatever it is. It ends in an A R D. A swarm of ards. It doesn't sound scary at all. Run away! Now, Lyle, I'm fully aware of the knife sticking out of my grave. It doesn't mean I can't be silent. You, you can be silent, it's just... Shut up. Don't judge me. It's my job, I'm a DM. That's all I do. Alright, well, if you want to stealth up, stealth up. Make a roll. Yeah! You clump... You, you wow! <laughs> <laughs> this is where I trip and fall. And you find that there are two more guards uh, tied up in the room. Hey guys, there's a step here. Well, thanks. <laughs> so I see more guards? Yep. Okay, mm, I can leave now. Only so much room in the bag. Shall, shall we free them and see if their health is at full and steal some swords from the... Uh, Anything that we see that has swords to the Bollywood. They have Bollywood had spears, so maybe they can give them spears. Yeah. Okay. You guys go in, you uh, cut them free. Um, it's very much helped by the reappearance of their guard friend. Uh, they tell if, you that. If they, if they feel weakened due to having been labored here, they're free to exit, but if they feel healthy, they can come with us further into the cavern. Uh, they tell you that. Uh, after what they've been through, nothing is going to get them to leave. They also, uh, speaking to their the other guard that's with you, um, they tell you that they took Melina to the, the western part of the cave. Onward! Uh, they all, yeah, you, they pick up some spears from dead, um, Bully Woods. I'm sorry, is this where we have a montage? dun 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 Learning and growing. Uh, okay, they are prepared to to follow you. Back to the still thing. I really need to get something that gives me dark vision. There's a bully in the room. You have a sorcerer. I'm super quiet. Super quiet guy. Yep. Super quiet. Oh, but then a giant purple circle alerts them to your presence. Shush, I've been super quiet. Ignore the light. <laughs> Rendering wa random wandering lights are normal in this area. Uh, one of the guards is going to yell, Charge! You suck. I was so good. Okay, die first. You guys were the ones who insisted they weren't very good guards, so... 
Uh, they're gonna do something foolish. And what's my excuse? Uh, they all dash to get up there. Um, so we will start right after their turn order, so Benorin. Uh, I'm gonna move over one and ready an action to fire a firebolt if I can get an eyeball of one. Alright, not quite as bold as their plan of charge, but you moved over one. And yes, I charged this far. <laughs> and prepared to discharge, so really I'm the balance. Shuffle slightly to the right! <laughs> Lyle. Who just had a who just had five um I won't say heavily armed, we'll go lightly armed men um run by you. Right or left, right or left. Eh, they seem to have shit handled on the left. So I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna sneak through because, you know, small creature. And I'm going to get to my weapons. Rape you to the face on the bullywog. With sneak attack. Not if you miss. No, I hit. Not with an eight. I hit, because I says so. Scott? Um. Which one am I going to go to? I'm going to. I don't think I can actually reach really any of them. Wait. Oh, I'm a halfling. I can crawl yeah. through people's legs. That sounds weird. Um, it's that night. It's that kind of night. Yeah, I seem to watch them saying, Okay, I'm going to come. You can slide through friendly squares. Over there. Oh, that was probably a bad choice, but that's okay. Giant frog! That will, yeah, you, you definitely do some significant damage to the giant frog. Wait, can I reroll my direction? Let's see. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Is there yeah, any giant frog left? A little bit. I'm going to shoot at the bullywug to the left of me. All right. As we view. All right. That definitely hits. Six damage. Uh, okay. Guard phase. Guard is going to try and stab that same bullywug. Misses with a seven. Guard is going to try to stab that same bullywug. Misses with an eleven. Guard is going to try to stab that same bullywug. This is with an 11. Guard is going to try to stab some bullywug that Lyle's standing next to. This is with a 10. They might have overestimated their abilities. I'm glad you're not proving me right. Benorin, back around to you. Uh, I'm going to move up. That's it. Uh, and I'm going to shoot a firebolt at the bullywug to the northeast of Scats. You mean the one that just got fanned by the guards? Yes, the one that is in uh, blissful uh, air-conditioned comfort. Mm-hmm. And it is dead. Uh, Lyle. Stabbery. Competent stabbery. Nice. And you've got uh, an ally For there? For a total of 14 damage. Nice. Dead. I broke it in the face. Exploded. Uh, scats. Giant frog. Push. Oh, I forgot to add the giant frog to the initiative order. Uh, Shush. It doesn't really matter because whatever was left of it um, is now smattered oh, on the wall. No, wolf. sorry, no. Thirteen does not hit. Oh, no, it's dead. No. What? It's dead. Ah, uh, Tillman. Firing at the frog, I miss with a twelve. Yeah. Okay, guard phase. Guard runs up, swings at the bullywug. Twenty-one. Does seven damage. Guard runs up, swings at the bullywug. Eleven, that'll be a miss. Uh, and he's gonna move in there so this guard can stand here. Swings on the bullywug. Nineteen, that'll kill that bullywug on the top left. Uh, the other guard is going to step up and he's going to cut. Um, there's a, a woman dressed in guard uniform. Um, he's going to cut her free. Glory hug. Uh, Venorn. Firebolt. Not going to hit. I'd like to point out I was going to try and save Melina for Scats' soup. Uh, Giant frog. 
bites scats, but it's going to be a crit miss. Aha. Uh, Lyle. Let's see. Screw this. It's going to take some dancing, but I'll get there. <laughs> scoozy. Scoozy. You think I say scoozy. You did a lot of work to miss. Uh, hey, it's a skill. Scats. Um. Okay. Fresh. Okay. 21 will hit. Don't even bother re-rolling. It's dead. Hey. I, I don't understand it, but the halberd really is doing a lot better than the great axe, despite... It is. Yeah. Don't question it. Just accept it. If you ever find a crazy high-level wizard, maybe he can move the enchantment onto the uh, halberd. Mm. Although that might break it, so... I it, could, it could break it. It's, it's winning streak thus far has been... Uh, maybe it's actually a cursed item, and something crashed that pirate ship. Now, it probably was just river pirates, but... Well, I mean, river people are incompetent. Maybe there was more to that story. So I check out the lady and see if she needs any healing or anything. Um, she's actually okay. Um, she suspects they were going to interrogate her, but they hadn't had the chance yet. Um, she thanks you profusely for, for helping them. Um... She describes the last few days of her life, where she led a small team of um, guards into the, the woods to try and track down some goblins, and ended up meeting a, a dryad in a tree um, that seemed to, to overwhelm her ability to control herself, um, and eventually those commands sent her north to try and um, dismantle the dam that was here. Um, and ironically, that's we killed her. Ironically, uh, she was captured along with her, her group. She does um, defensively mention that the, there used to be a lot more bully woods. Um, they killed quite a few on their way here, but they were out overnumber, outnumbered um, and overpowered and uh, actually, ironically, forced to work on the dam. Well, don't worry. Dryad's no longer a problem. Um, she says that there were a few people with her uh, that she believes the Dryad kept behind to protect her. Do do any of you know what happened to the rest of her people? In the bag. We were unable to save them. There may have been some stew involved. I'm very confused by what you're all saying. The magic was uh, more than, than we could um, uh, uh, endure, and uh, that indirectly result in the deaths of the guards. And all of that, I believe, is technically factually accurate while spinning this in a direction that doesn't make us out to be the most horrible party in history. Go ahead, Nick, uh, we bring back as complete a body count as possible, but nothing's about complete bodies. All right, I'm just assuming everything Lyle's saying is not really being said. Um, <laughs> but Norn, why don't you make a persuasion check? I can totally do that. Like you think I'm saying something horrible? Yeah, she um, she nods and she says, "I, I felt the power of that being's mind control. I, I don't think anybody could be held accountable for anything they did while under her influence. I'm glad that the stream will be restored and her tree will be okay. I don't think she meant any malice. Did we burn down the tree? I don't remember." Hey, no, no but it died it. because she died. That was it. Unfortunately, we were not able to save to protect her from what was happening. Unfortunately, my ass, she tried to take over my brain. I I understand the the process would definitely be overwhelming for some minds if if killing her was the only way to be free of her control, I I can understand that. It was. We almost didn't make it ourselves. See, Scat, she agrees with us. Okay. I see. Not uh, soup people. Hey. Well, I'm glad to see my men rearmed. Um, I, I certainly think traveling back to the town in a large group would make sense. Are you headed back that way? That's where our ride is. 
Do okay. we need to take care of this damn thing, or uh, let me yeah. rephrase? Should we? T- <laughs> do we need to take care of the dam before we go, or will they take care of it at some point in the future? Yeah, let's take care of this damn thing. <laughs> Uh, I'd like to point out, we have some of the only working wagons in the entire world waiting for us. Uh, and basically what she says is, I, I can't speak for the work the goblins did, but I I know all of my men would have done the poorest job possible on the dam. I'm sure we can dismantle it quickly and be on our way. Alright, because we probably have to be on our way. Sure. And you guys spent about half an hour knocking enough out of the way that... Uh, the stream seems to be restored. And, uh, yeah. You you work your way back to the, the clearing uh, where you met the Dryad, and you turn turn west, heading back to the, the town. Um, Melina spends a moment to... Oh, yeah, the tree's gone. Pretend the tree's gone. And eventually you are back at the town of Wellspring. Did we find any blister wart in the cave? Uh, you did not. That is a very good question, and I'm going to give you inspiration for looking and paying attention. Someone had to do it. I have, like, zero recollection of blister wart. It's, uh, the ingredient that, um, Horlin wanted you to keep an eye out for. Yeah, no, I remember now, but I, I completely forgot. Yeah, that's all right. So we go back to town, we get on the wagon, and we roll out. Yep, Sorelia is glad you're back. She does kind of, um... It would have been nice if you were back a little earlier, but... She understands. Um, Hey, saving the world takes time, lady. uh, She'll say, you know, um... I'd love to hear about your tale, but perhaps we should do that while... We're on the move. Um, And thus resumes your trip north to Arn Anari. You, you travel uh, for a while. It's, it's traditional caravan duty. Um, some of your time is spent resting. Some of your time is spent traveling with the caravan. Some of it is spent uh, traveling a little bit ahead, scouting the way. Um, Does any of that I hang out with the bar wagon. Short you, you, yes, everyone gets a lot. There'll be at least a day before the next uh, event of note, so um, long rests for everyone. Hooray! Sweet. Yay! Oh, um, and I take my utensils back. Oh, <laughs> sure. You should no, have your own. That. Mine. We went to a cave, we'll, we'll hand them out again. I don't know why you're trying to take it back. I lost it. <laughs> um, I slide a hand to hide it? No. He but takes it back. Chloe. Not, it not anymore. Fun. Yeah, it only lasts an hour. All right. Get me one of those heads. We'll make back low. Those are gone. Somebody in your party had the foresight to take the bag away from you before you got back to town. Carry a glowing head with them. <laughs> like a jack-o'-lantern. No, my favorite part is that it says that the object has to be no less than, like, five feet on each side. Uh, Lyle's less than five feet on each side. Oh! <gasps> you just made... I don't know if that'd be good for a rogue, though. Probably. No, it wouldn't do. be. Probably cause like very very permanent side effects, um, like badassness. Yeah. Um, I need you guys to, um, well, as you're settling in for one night, uh, it is your party's group to take uh, watch. Um, only one of you needs to be on guard duty at a time. Uh, you can either just roll initiative, I, I guess, and we can use that for guard duty, but if people want to take specific shifts, there's four shifts first and there's watch. four of you. Okay, Lyle's second first watch. watch. Well, I can't roll initiative because I don't have my character. Watch. That's true. Okay, so it doesn't really matter. Tillman wanted second watch, so really it's just you and Venorin deciding between third and fourth. Uh, it doesn't matter to me. Okay, then Scats is third. And Venorin is fourth. Uh, which means I need Tillman to roll a perception check. No. Be percepty. Boom. Right. Oh, way to be percepty. Uh, Tillman, when you're when you're watching, it actually is, probably makes sense anyway, since you're one of the few with not the few, the half of the party that have 
dark vision. Um, you notice one of the uh, town guard, not the house storm warden guard, um, try to sneak off into the woods uh, in the night. Am I close enough to Lyle to wake him? You can certainly throw something at him. Okay. Uh, roll a d20. Uh, you you take a, a book you were reading while you were on watch, and you chuck it, and it hits him right in the groin. <laughs> Good news is, he's awake. Yeah, that would wake you up. You're gonna die. You were gonna wake him up. It was mostly just where you hit him. You're gonna die. And I say, great, save that for a minute. One of the city guard just walked out of the camp. I need you to follow him since you're the stealthy one. Okay, you'll die later. There's enough moonlight out that it is uh, dim vision, but not darkness. Sweet. And I start to slowly wake up the other members of the party. Do I get advantage on my stealth? For moving silently and stealthily. You can't... That's a tautology. Shut up. That's like giving Scat's advantage on her roll because she's swinging hard. <laughs> you roll to see how hard you swing. No. No, you don't. Because also the other thing is you're also fighting the fact that you're not as able to see as well. Doesn't really matter. 16's pretty good. Let's roll his uh, perception. Ooh, you beat it by one. Yeah, but I'd still be it. That's true. Um, you eventually uh, catch up to him, uh, probably fully expecting him to be taking a piss. Um, instead, what you see him do is um, he has a bird, um, and you can see him slipping a small note into something attached to the bird's leg, and then he lets it go. I throw my dagger at the bird. Okay. Make a, make a ranged oh, attack roll. Hit it good. If it was glowing, that would be epic, but it's not. Hit it like the bird. Oh, oh. no. Critmas. Critmas, uh, the, the gentleman, the town guard, does uh, notice your um, the dagger go flying past his bird. Uh, the reality is probably an RFC 1149 transmission anyway, in which case it would have retry. Meh. Do halflings get any kind of re-roll or anything? Oh, shit, yeah! <coughs> On a crit miss, yes. I hit the button. I hit the button. You didn't, though. Alright. God damn it! Yeah, that's still gonna miss a, a flying bird. Plus, that means you rolled a three. Which is not a crit miss. Don't have Although I did roll max oh. damage again. Sorry, what was that? Oh, I asked if halflings get a re re roll. No. Yes. No. <laughs> Just the one. Um, okay. So, uh, what's going to happen at that point is. But after I hit, I do max damage. This is going to turn out probably the way I should just go ahead and expect it to turn out. Unmitigated violence? Pretty much. Uh, let's bring you over to... map you didn't want to use. No, no. This is a, a more abstract map. Um, you're, in, you're in the woods. Um, your party members are not there. They're being woken up. They'll probably be there in a couple rounds, but um, in the meantime... Excuse me. Uh, you are there, and the guard is there. And when you uh, throw your dagger, he's going to turn and rush at you and swing his spear. Well, not swing, but stab, poke his, his spear at you. He rolls a 15. Ah, oh, that hits. Four damage. I'm going to take you out of the initial order, so I'm just because I'm going to have that happen. The, the actual order doesn't matter. There's going to be a couple rounds where it's just the two of them. Um. So, Lyle. Okay, I'm gonna stab him with my rapier, and while I do it, ask him what the hell does he think he's doing. Um, he's going to say. Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> Not that I didn't think of an answer. Uh, 
Um, I feel like you didn't think of an answer. He's gonna swing his spear. No, you uh, you missed with a twelve. Um, he's gonna say um, Riverhaven business, and then he's gonna swing again. Seventeen. God damn it. Five damage. Back with the stabbing. The competent stabbing. Yes. Seventeen will hit. All of you condescending river people think you're so good. The hell do you think you're doing? Answer me straight. I'm keeping Davril apprised of what's happening. Uh, what's a Davril? He's the, the guy that we don't trust. Yeah. The politician that brought in the snake guys. I was about to say, we're talking me, you're going to need to narrow that pool down. Um, he is going to disengage. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 130 feet. Okay. And then it is your turn. Backstabbing. I get bonus for backstabbing, yes? No. You do hit, and that will be enough to kill him. Um, the party arrives not to see any of the stuff happen before. They just once again see you stab somebody. I got a Davril monkey. I take my foot off what happened? We're, we're, we're kind of used to catching him murdering people, so right. we're not that shocked. He said he's working for Davril. He sent a bird. I did more damage to him than the bird. That's My dagger's true. over there in that tree. With no bird on it. Out of halfling jumping distance. <laughs> it's a perfect visual. It's, it's, it's nice just like six feet off the ground, too. It's like... <laughs> jumping. <laughs> I could use my other dagger as a stepping stone. To stepping point to get there, but... Yeah, roll to see if you hit the tree or if you lose another dagger. <laughs> Shut up. Stop judging me. Scats, give me a hand. This is not going to be the game of can we retrieve a simple weapon. <laughs> <laughs> you have your dagger back. This was not my lucky dagger. It's proven by the fact it wasn't lucky. For a halfling, everything is a puzzle game. You mean like, how do you avoid walking through farts? Search his body. Yeah, we could do that, yeah. yeah. Um, on his body, uh, there is a... Uh, of, of note, um, there appear to be a number of scraps of small paper um, and a writing instrument for presumably writing on the small scraps of paper. Um, they look about, you know, bird-sized. I'd like to make a rubbing of the last note. No? Sure. Make, um... You have charcoal upon your person? He has yes. navigation tools. He's made that clear. Uh... I don't even know what that would be. Sleight of hand, maybe? It's well, either it's a... Wi- navigation tools. You know what? You know what? Make it... Make it investigation. Yeah, I think investigation. I was going to say, it should either be something intelligence or wisdom based. So, uh, investigation or... Are you good at... You should be good at investigation. I'm good at investigation. Alright. Not you're, that... You're okay at investigation. Um, uh, you basically, you work out uh, two days wellspring. Over there, where it says Davril. Hey, that that message is not RFC eleven forty nine complaint. Back to the caravan. Back to the caravan. Yep. Gotta find the boss lady. Uh, you're able to wake Sorelia. What is it? It's the middle of the night. Did something well, happen? There, there's now a dead guard, but it's because he was working for Davril. I killed him in the woods. That way. I'm fully aware. It's half the guard are working. Your, your presentation of that is like a cat bringing in a bird saying, look what I killed. Yeah, I was going to say, her response to that is, I'm fully aware that half our guard are working under Davril. Uh, he was sending a note by a messenger pigeon. Or This was a city bird. guardsman, and he 
attacked us first, or attacked Lyle first. Who wouldn't attack Lyle first? <laughs> he did. Yeah. A lot of people attack me first. I mean, I'm just saying. It was not under attack. The bird was. I'm a nice guy. He attacked you? I and he missed the bird. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I could trust the town guard, but I didn't expect them to attack you. Well, I'm sure some of them are trustworthy, except for the ones who work for Davril. Yeah, I mean, he went to sneak away, so obviously he didn't want it known. Do you have any proof that he was sending messages, or did they? Did that leave with the birds? The Here's birds. a rubbing of the one message I was able to get. Um, and she she takes a look at it, and... Uh, Thank goodness he uses a post-it. Yeah. It seems like he's relaying our position, or how long we're staying. I I wish the rubbing was better. <laughs> well, I wish the information was better, but for all I know, he's giving Davril a heads up to go tell Snake Boy what we're doing I just, I so sort of that point he can out. warn his mercenaries to jump us because he doesn't like the fact that we're better than them. I just want to point out our influence here. Catherine was the first person to giggle on that. <laughs> um, she's going to say, I, I agree, we should be cautious. Um... All right, Wait, should we kill them all now? Not yet. Let's search their stuff. Let's search the, the property of all the guards. Um, we'll search mine as well, just to look, just to not tip them off as to what we're looking for. And yeah, Possessions of birds is a killable offense. Well, let's separate them from their stuff first. Don't just do it one at a time, but... Yes, I agree. Um... And she's going to ask, uh, Scats, Lyle... Lyle, this is kind of in your wheelhouse, basically. We need to go steal all their stuff. <laughs> I'm on board yeah. with that. <laughs> um, yeah, she's going to ask, uh, Scats, Venoran, and Tillman to, um, watch the, the guardsmen. Um, and she's going to... She with, uh, Lyle will go through their stuff. Um, you spend... It, it takes a little while. Everybody's got to pack and, you know... You also it, it occurs to Lyle actually at one point that they need to look for compartments or anything with the um, with the carts in case something like there's a trap door or something in the carts. Lyle, why don't you give me to keep a bird? Lyle, why don't you give me a um, investigation roll? Okay. Oh, uh, right there, eighteen. Killed it. Uh, you do indeed find... You don't find a bird. You find a compartment that has uh, uh, paper identical to the one, the few scraps that uh, the guard you just had to put down um, had. But then they weren't part of anyone's, like, effects. It was a small... Um, like, in, in the corner of one of the wagons. There was Who's in little, charge of this sport. wagon? It doesn't really... They're not really assigned to individual wagons. Shh. Who's in charge of this wagon? Okay, so you're going to show Sorelia what you found. Um, you finish your search, and then you guys can all group up again uh, to have an investigation. So you, you basically say, like, who who was in charge of the fourth wagon? Yes. Okay, now Sorelia tells you, um, I don't... You've been with the caravan a while. You know that we don't really... Assign individual wagons. It's ridiculous. We're gonna start. Uh, she's going to start by asking. Um, basically, she'll she'll play the card. She'll say, "We know somebody was stowing stowing." She's not going to say what you found. But she says, "We know somebody was stowing contraband in the fourth wagon." Does anyone want to own up to it? Did it or has anyone seen one of the other guards uh, going in there when they didn't need to be? Has anybody seen Timmy? Timmy's the guard I just killed out in the woods. I'm not saying that last bit. I'm just clarifying. Sure. You guys are asking a lot of questions that they probably shouldn't have answers to. Um, yeah. Just, just to see how people react when they're put in a weird spot. That's smart. Um, none of them appear to be. They all, they all say, you know, they haven't seen Timmy. And um, one of them uh, is going to say that he saw Timmy going into that wagon. Uh, the one who says that is another one of the town guard. None of them can be trusted. Kill them all. Um, Sorelia suggests caution. 
she Let's reminds call that she, plan B. Yeah. She says, um, while it's somebody it, clearly trying to deflect suspicion away from themselves, they say we consider them suspicious. I agree. I I'm hesitant to allow somebody who might betray us in to stay alongside us, but where we're headed we may need as many bodies as we can. You do know um, what side I'm on, right? Yeah. Um, she's going to basically say no more no more having anyone scout ahead. The I want everyone together as much as possible. Um, if if somebody if there is somebody untrustworthy, and she's saying this to just you guys. Um, I trust my house guard. I, I don't want you to. to Showers just, are going to be really awkward from now on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Should we institute a buddy system? And the showers just got worse. <laughs> or better. Yeah, that's when everyone starts doing that gendered math in their head. Like, all right, there's four of us. And we're not going to go there. Um, yeah, she, she's okay with the buddy system. She basically says, you know, there's there are now... Uh, God, what, how many were there? I wrote it down to be consistent. There's now one less. There were three house storm warden, and there were five city guards. Now there's three and four. Now there's four guards, and hey, there's four of you. Um, but th- she'll actually have some of her, her her house guard will keep an eye on some of them, but yeah, she'll expect the people that she trusts to rotate and keep an eye on the others. Um, she says, yeah, nobody, at night, nobody goes out of camp by themselves. Um, if you got to take a pee, you go with someone else. Exactly. I don't they care all- what time of day it is. It's for your own safety. Poor Timmy got jumped in the woods by a wild animal. Oh. And is dead. <laughs> and our stew. Uh, everyone will readily agree to that. They're not even quite sure. They don't seem sure what even the allegations are. So, no reason to tip your hand yet. And everyone think. thank Timmy for your dinner tonight. <laughs> I don't actually say that. Good. Um, okay. So, with that, um, oh, uh, go ahead and everybody, well, as long as you have tokens on the screen, um, max out your hit points and so forth. Since you got a long rest. Yay! Um, you go back to the caravan, which, um, you, you finish out the night, um, with things a little more tense than before, understandably. And, uh, in the morning, you will set out again a little later that day uh, you smell one of Scat's favorite smells there is there is soup oh yes soup up ahead uh, somewhere and uh, she is going to find it uh, who's holding Scat's leash I'm not <laughs> it's like those cartoons where the character sees the smell and they float in the air toward the right. the source here we are. Uh, up ahead, you can see on the top of a small ridge that there is a um, there's there's a smoke, a small amount of smoke from a what looks like to be a campfire from where you're at. Uh, there is a, a delicious smell of soup coming coming from it. I don't know. Soup no longer smells quite so delicious. I am charging ahead right towards the soup. And that would oh, be right. why. Um, go ahead and do a perception roll, Skats. This is great. There's perpetually going to be soup traps for the rest of our lives. <laughs> looks like then soup to you. Yeah. yeah, it definitely looks like soup to you. Okay, then I'm eating it. Okay. Um, as you're eating it, uh, you suddenly find yourself trapped in a net. Oh, dear. Can we get a clarification on what isn't soup to scats? Everybody I thought has the potential to become soup. Uh, you also suddenly yeah. see some large creatures coming out from the trees around you. Oh, oh. great! It's trolls, so it's her favorite soup. <laughs> and Does Trolly regenerate? So you just—they're actually have soup? while while the icon probably is better for a troll. These are actually ogres. 
Yeah, whatever. Still eternal soup. Mm, could go either way from this angle. They all kind of... They're not subtle when they come out, so everyone gets to act. So, uh, Venorn. Mm, terrible. So the one north of me. How am I still near the top of this initiative? Everyone what else? Is, that's a good question. Would you, uh, would you roll? Nine. Uh, okay. Venorn fires a firebolt at one of the ogres... You will hit. It will take seven damage and be mighty upset. Uh, Tillman. Okay, I stand right here in the um, cleft. And can I see the guy on the left? Yes. Barely. They're ogres. Do I know that ogres are tough or do I not know anything? They look tough. You think you feel like from an evolutionary standpoint, um, the creature would not look that way <laughs> if it was not tough. Dere- deriving from your years of knowledge of uh, seeing creatures, you feel that probably they have at least an AC of twelve. <laughs> okay, I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt on the uh, the one up there on the left. The one all by his lonesome. Yes. I feel like that's probably the one I can see the best. Yeah. Ooh, 21. That will definitely hit. 17 is an awful lot of damage. And he has advantage. And if anyone else attacks that, remember you have advantage until uh, Tillman's next turn. Uh, Scats, you are in a net. Okay, I want to break out of the net. Is that a strength save? Strength or dex save, whichever one. Basically, one way you tear your way out, one way you maneuver your way out. So whichever save you're better at. Um, it's the same for both. Oh, gosh, I didn't. That's not going to quite do it. Lyle. I'm going to do the only thing I really can do in this situation, which is dumb and reckless. I'm going to run up and I'm going to stand at Scat's side. All right. Draw my rapier. Can he, like, cut the net or anything? Uh, Yes. No, that would be all my actions, sir. Oh. The dash, the run, and drawing my rapier in the process. That's everything. No, no, drawing, drawing is a free... Is a, you can interact as a free... You can interact with one object to turn. Then I'll interact with the net for free. Yeah, I'll, <laughs> however you want to do it. Make an attack roll against a net. A net is not pleased. Wait. wait. <laughs> what kind of attack roll? Just your, your rapier attack roll. Okay. I mean, it's not a particularly high AC, because it's rope. <laughs> Is this <laughs> the chip? Uh, Scats, you are no longer netted. Netted. Yay! Sneak attack, name. <laughs> you had an ally within five feet. She was in the net. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. I did not think that through. There's no net left. Uh, Sorelia is going to step up in front of Tillman, and she's going to fire her crossbow at the troll, uh, the ogre, rather, on the left. Uh... Oh, I should put her... With advantage. We should roll a 21 and a 21, so... Nice. Uh, let me just, if I can... Where did I put her? She... Oh, here. Here she is. Did you roll twice? No, but it, ha- it rolls both when... Oh, okay. I just uh, wanted to make sure... If you only rolled once, I wanted to make sure that you... Uh... Yeah, no, 21-21. Oh, 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 I see. Sorry. Yeah, he's a dick and doesn't want us to see his rolls. No, I just changed... Well, I changed hers, because it's okay if you see hers. I don't do it for the guards, because normally I'm using the guards as enemies, so... But, yeah, you guys can uh, be able to see her. Um, okay, so she's going to do uh, five damage to the ogre. Uh, ogre turn. This will be interesting. Ogre turn. Uh, one ogre is going to run up to Lyle. Hello, Launch. He's going to smack you with his great claw. Oh, that's Scats' line. Uh, rolls a 12. That should miss Lyle. Right over my head. And they do not get multi-attack. Uh, the other one is going to run up and um, do the same to Scats. 11. <laughs> one more on Scats. 12. You must be this short to not be hit. Oh! Uh, one's going to run up to Sorelia. And same thing with the club. 
Ooh, 20. That will beat her AC. And he does 16 damage. Wow. Uh, okay, that was the ogre phase. Uh, the guard phase. Guard is going to uh, run up. Guard is going to... this. The one on the left can't get to him. The one on the right can. Uh, spear attack. 18 will hit the ogre. It will do a whopping 2 damage. Uh, the rest of the guards... You know what? I'm, I'm going to have the... Um, yeah. They're going to form a line back here. And they're going to throw spears at the troll, at the uh, ogre. I keep saying, why don't you put that in my head? You're welcome. Throw a spear, miss with an 11. Oh, wait. Oh, no, they hit with an 11. Six damage on the ogre. Uh, the Plus, next everyone has advantage this round. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, second spear on that same ogre is going to be 21. Why do people have advantage? Well, everyone attacking that particular You're guiding ogre. Bowl. Oh, is it just the next attack? It's just the next single attack roll. Okay. Oh, well, to be honest oh, with you, shit. so far it hasn't mattered because it was 18, 14, 11, 7, and then... Wasted it on her double 21s. Yeah. Although I'm happy she got 20. All right, seven more damage on the ogre. Uh, one, the other two are going to aim at the one standing on the edge of the cliff next to Lyle. So spear in their direction. Uh, 12 is going to hit. So that's going to be six. And the other one is going in that same direction. Uh, 13 will hit, and that'll be five more on the ogre near Lyle. So he has two spears sticking out of him? Uh, yes. Awesome. Vinorn. Uh, I'm going to launch Chromatic Orb as a level two spell, and I'm going to twin it for the two that are in the north of Styx. Uh, starting with the one directly above, and then the one to the right. Since I'm launching this as a level 2 spell, I'm going to roll it normally, and then I'll roll an additional 1d8. Alright. Burning a lot of stuff on this. Christmas. You want to still roll that d8 for giggles? No. No, that's good. I prefer not to. There we go. The 17 will definitely hit. So, 16. Plus another 4. So, 20 damage. The uh, type of damage doesn't matter in this case. So, uh, Tillman, back around to you. Okay. Um, the uh, ogre in front of me. Um, well, that's sorry. <laughs> she doesn't appreciate this insinuation. Does he look? It's the armor. It makes me look bulky. <laughs> Is he barely damaged or a lot of damage? He, you know, he's, he's bleeding closer from a to lot. top or bottom. He's bleeding from a lot of places. And what about the one on my right here? Has he been touched even? Uh, the rest. He's of got them, two spears sticking out of him. Yeah, he does have two spears sticking out of him. That's your best uh, indication of his. All right, I'm gonna guiding bolt him. The one to the right. Yeah. That'll definitely hit. Twelve damage. Your guiding bolt tears through his flesh. Uh, Scats. Okay, which of the two in front of me look the most injured? Uh, you right. you saw an orb hit the one on the right. Something something you probably associate with Venorin. Okay, then I am going to smash it. I think I'm going to go into a rage just for the fun of it. Just for funsies. It is an underused ability of yours. <laughs> it is. <Soup> rage. <laughs> yeah. They took my soup. Okay. So I'm going to one to the top right of me. So 24. Nice. That plus the additional 2 damage. So 15 total? Yeah, well, I'm going to re-roll my damage, see what I get there. Went down. Uh, yeah, yeah. Bye. yeah. Although it did remain a crit. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Alright, yeah, you, you clobber him. Uh, Lyle. Alright. I'm enjoying my theatrics kick tonight. I, I suspected you were going to try to use the spears as a ladder to 
Yes. Yeah. So I'm going to climb up the spears and jam in my sword in the back of his head. All right. You know, make, a, make an acrobat... All right, I'll tell you what. If you want to just do it, you can do a normal roll. If you make an acrobatics check first, I'll give you advantage on the roll. 24 on the acrobatics. Yep, you, you dance up these spears, and you have advantage on your attack. 18. Does my rapier count as a threatening friendly? No, it doesn't. Um, Sorelia is going to swing her long sword at the uh, ogre in front of her. Uh, 23. Oh, damn. And that is going to do... And she was doing that uh, one-handed, so that will be 9. And then she will swing her long sword again. And hit again for seven more. Ogre turn. At least mine looked pretty. The one in front of Sorelia will swing its great club at her. And it rolls a 25. Wait, how did her damage drop so much? Sorry? Did her da- is her damage that low? One-handed on a longsword? Yeah. yeah. No, I mean her hit points. Oh, uh... That's she was, like, at half, I thought. She... Well, she just took 12. Oh, okay. My apologies. Yeah, no, no problem. Um, yeah, she's not looking so good. Uh, okay, Ogre's up top. One's gonna uh, swing a spray club at Scats. 24. Ooh. 14 damage, but I believe you take half because you're in a rage. Yes. Other great club. Crit. Uh, that's going to be... Ooh. Owie. Well, and then another... Oh, okay. Another four. I'm actually not sure if the 12th had been applied, but because you're right, it's low, and I think I applied it. Maybe I didn't. Whatever. Worst case, she gets another round. Um, okay, so that's going to be 20, 21 divided by 2, so 10. On that yeah. second hit, uh, the last ogre is going to um, try and grab Lyle from the back of its neck and throw you against the ground. Uh, Fifteen. Oh, here's the thing: it wasn't a weapon attack. Take five damage. I figured it's like a fall, except you got slammed. So more. Uh, guards. Uh, each guard has two spears. How convenient is that? One of them's going to chuck it at the one in front of Sorelia. Uh, Eleven will hit. Two piercing damage. The second guard will do the same. Six, that'll miss. The guards on the right, uh, they're also going to see... um, They're also going to help Sorelia. Sorry, Lyle. Spear against that one. Thirteen will hit, and we'll do six more. And that one goes down so they can help me again. Nope. One more attack. Twenty-one. That, oh, and it had seven hit points, and that did seven damage. One of the ogres is no more. Yay. Uh, now, one of, the, one of the guards is actually now free to move up and help Lyle. Yay. Uh, but it misses instead. And the other guard will slide through and run up and spear the one to the north of Scats with an 11, and that will do four damage to that. At the very least, at least okay. what I did was badass. That's true. No, I appreciate the theatrics. Uh, Venorn. Well, so Scats is raging, so the two to the north of her are pretty much dead already. <laughs> I'm going to yeah. shoot at the one uh, to the east of the guard. Um, with, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, burn a magic missile on him. Uh, level three. All three into. All right. Bolts of magical energy sink into his flesh. Boom, boom, boom. And uh, Tillman. I do a second level cure wounds on Cerulea. All right. She gets back ten. Any movement or anything? Hold on. Why isn't the D8 working? Because it doesn't like you. And three, and three more. more. 
increase up to 18, about half. Uh, scats. Same, same one that you're attacking? You're, you might be muted. Oh, yes, I am muted, that's awkward. 13 probably doesn't hit, does it? It does. Oh, it does. Okay, I'll re-roll damage, let's see what I get here. Yes, take 12, plus the 2 is 14. Okay. Uh, Lyle. Okay, so because this worked last time, I'm going to stand up and I'm reclimb him using the Hoojis. You make it. You make it. Alright. I just have to make sure I jam that rapier really good in there. Um, so much that I clicked it twice by accident. No, 13 will hit, 5 piercing, and you do get sneak attack because you've got a, you have allies now. Ho oh, ho, it's an extra 10. He's looking wobbly. Australia is going to step up and switch to her crossbow and shoot the one uh, to the north of Scats. 15 will hit. And do 5 damage. Uh, Ogre's turn. Alright. One on Scats. Great club. Smash. 11 will miss. Uh, the other one is going to hit the guard that showed up. Uh, 12 will miss the guard. And the last one is going to hit Lyle. Crit. Uh, 17 plus 7 is 24. Nap time. Uh, guard phase. Um, For some reason, he doesn't seem to appreciate my badassness. Uh, one of the guards is going to swing on the one that just took you out and miss. The one uh, to the west of Scats is going to stab with its spear and do three damage to the one that it's engaged with. Uh, the other guards are all going to run up and they're going to mostly spend a turn recovering their various uh, spears. So next turn they'll be able to all help out. Uh, Venorn. Is this uh, the first battle of the day? Yep. Uh, aside from Lyle's little fight. Yeah, okay. For some reason, my something reset on my character. Little fight. That was an epic battle. I'm going to firebolt the, uh, the lone guy again. And that is how you do it. Yep. He is dead. Uh, Tillman. How many hit points below half is Scats, if at all? She's yeah. I don't think she is. Um, I'm not. She's at twenty out of thirty-seven. Okay. I'm about thirteen below half. Then I'm going to second level uh, cure wounds on Skets. Hey. Feel the love. Nice. Ah. Oh. You're, you're back at full strength. Pretty much. You get on the D8 coming too, so... 20. Yeah, you're full. And it's your turn. Ah! Sorry, I typed in 7 instead of 37. Okay. <laughs> um, the one to the top right is going to be smashed again. 22 for... 14 damage. He's dead. Yay. Uh, Lyle, death saving throw. Everyone's getting messed up priorities. Don't save the room. No. Mm-hmm. Motherfucker! <laughs> so is gonna uh, try to fire a crossbow through the crowd. Uh, she will manage to. And that's gonna do 10 damage. Uh, the ogre is going to swing on stats. 11, that will miss. Uh, okay, this is basically where things get to be kind of a curb stomp. Um, guard is going to poke you with a spear. Do three damage. Guard is going to poke it with a spear. Miss. Uh, the other three are going to f- shoot their spears. Um, so that's going to be seven, el- uh, eleven, seventeen damage total. 
Nice showing by the guards. Uh, Venorin. Verbal. Maybe. Maybe. Can try it again. There it goes. Uh, the, the body of the ogre erupts into some flame. Um, and he's quite upset. Uh, Tillman? Uh, you... Let's see, Lyle, uh, your hit points are at zero, Indeed. and your total is 24? Seven. No, what's your max? Uh, 27. Oh, 27, sorry. So you are back to 13 hit points as I do my uh, channel divinity. Yay! The uh, trolls below half, if you want to, if there's any excess. Uh, what about... Uh, Cerulea, does she is she below half? She can take one. All right, I'll give her one. Oh no, wait, because y- y- okay, so she's at eighteen out of thirty-seven. So you, yeah, no, you can't heal her because that would. Be oh, okay. Good. Anyone else need anything besides the? Uh, uh, the tr- literally the troll is the only other thing below half. All right, if there's any guards or anything that took damage, they can get. No, I'm I include like nothing. Oh, all right. Well, yeah, they're gone. Maybe that bird is alive again. Oh no, the bird didn't die. Right. Uh, scats. You missed uh, Yes. Okay. The one. <laughs> Sorry. The one in front of me. Yeah. Smash it. Oh. No, no. Roll damage. There you go. So do it. Sort of. He had seven nine. hit points. Ah, well, I hit him for nine, so. Alright. Uh, yeah. So after examining the area a little more, um, basically, you're pretty sure that these ogres had come up with the most clever trap that an ogre has ever come up with. <laughs> um, hang a big net over some food and get better food. It's basically the same logic behind fishing. Um, I've I've gone back to eating the stew, by the way. Yeah, Yeah, we figured. She doesn't ask questions. Why don't you roll a a, a con save? Oh, man. You'll be fine. For the next 24 hours, uh, uh, I'll I'll just give you inspiration. Okay. Cool. We'll borrow that mechanic to... uh, Just... Just to clarify, what that implies is nope. that you're it's not actual inspiration. I'm enough that you're now in getting inspiration for being cannibal. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not really it, it, it's, cannibal. It's less that I'm handing out inspiration and more that it's just a simple mechanic that doesn't reward her too heavily, but doesn't. <laughs> but still, um, yeah. Um, and in fact, uh, that is the last encounter of not only our session but the day. Um, this time, the third person, uh, Scats, you are taking third watch. Okay. The only thing of note that happens on this particular night is that uh, for a brief time, you can make out the distinct uh, sound of heavy drums being beaten in the distance, echoing off some unknown number of natural features on the landscape to arrive at oh. your ears. That's it's a drum circle. There are hippies with tembes nearby. <laughs> <laughs> 